What is up guys, my name's Ali A. Welcome back to a brand new Pokemon Go episode. It feels like ages since I've started an episode behind our awesome wall of Pokemon stuff here. And today we're actually be kicking off with the Pokemon Go headquarters literally right behind us. So it's gonna be an exciting one. What are we up to today? Well, in our previous episodes, we have been out capturing amazing, amazing Pokemon in LA. It was absolutely unreal. And today I want to try and get as many 2,000 CP Pokemon as possible. I've got a few which I can power up to 2,000, a few that I will physically evolve to 2,000. And I've also got a spot that I want to try and hit today which I haven't been to, which apparently has some crazy spawns and should hopefully get us at least some candy towards getting those Pokemon we're aiming for 2,000 CP up and over that mark, so it should be absolutely awesome. I've also been sitting on this little Pokemon package for a while now, so I'm hoping to open it in a video very, very soon. I was going to tell you guys if you remind me to do it because otherwise I'm going to keep on my desk for ages and I need to open it because there's some amazing, amazing Pokemon gear inside it. Can you guys spot the leaves? They're chilling down there. <laughs> We're going to be starting off today's episode, as I said, in the Pokemon Go headquarters. So, let's kick it off, see how our squad's looking, and see which Pokemon we're going to be aiming for that huge 2,000 CP mark. I'm honestly so excited to show you guys all the Pokemon I've gotten and the candies I've gotten towards everything, because it is honestly quite insane. Literally, the LA trip almost just had all the Pokemon that I didn't really have many candies for waiting for me to capture. It was crazy. Fortunately, the depressing side of having a Pidgey, a Rattata, a Drowsy, and a Weedle on my nearby sightings list is not the one. But, you know, we're going to try and hit up some cool spots today and get some better hope than that. That's for sure. So, I know I've, I, just, I keep on showing you guys my recent list, and it is quite crazy. What I'm going to do instead is rank them by their number in the Pokemon game and show you just how many of each Pokemon I have. So, as you can see, I've got 610 out of 650 Pokemon. I've got a lot of Pokemon. And that's with a lot of discarding as well. So I'm only down to one Charmander. We've got ourselves 44 candies, which I think is quite good. Because we've never been to like a proper nest for a Charmander. We've got 87 Squirtle candies. Those eggs were just amazing. So we're getting close to actually being able to get our own Blastoise, which is awesome. And I'm going to an event very, very soon. In fact, maybe when this video goes out, I'll be at the event, Legends of Gaming Live. But there should be a Squirtle spawner there, so hopefully we can push ourselves over to that Blastoise evolution. But if we just go through here, we can see we've got a lot of the commons. I've tried to get rid of as many of them as possible. We've got a lot of Ekans in LA. A load of Sand Shoes. I need to go through and work out the best IVs for them. A load of Nidoran male and Nidoran female, with our best one sitting here at 90 3% IVs, and look how many candies we've got, it's insane, we also got ourselves a few Vulpix, not a load of Vulpixes, but definitely a few, which is always awesome, we've got ourselves not too many Zubats, we'll we, we, we talk about Zubats actually in an episode very soon, we've got ourselves a few Diglett, I've got myself a Doug Trio, but the multiplier is just horrible on Diglett, utterly horrible, a lot of Meow spawned, um, the Psyducks are just left over from here in the UK, and then it gets to the good guys, right, it gets to the Mankeys, look at the Mankeys here, a butt ton of them. I actually ended up capturing two primates, believe it or not. I wanted to do the full evolution, but the man if a primate's gonna spawn on top of me, I'm gonna take it, you know what I mean? Then the growl is kicking. Our best growl is at 9.05. Unreal. And considering I discarded a lot of these guys, remember, to make space, like, it's crazy. I literally did a whole Arcanine episode before I went to LA, and I ran around a park for hours to get enough Growlithe, and when I go to LA, and there's just millions of them. Literally millions of them. But as I said, we're trying to get some 2,000 CP Pokemon, and one of them will be that Growlithe. We've got a lot of Machops here. We actually have a butt ton of Machops here as well. I did actually capture a Wild 1-2-1-2 Machoke which is pretty crazy. It came in from an incense, I think. Like, even the incense is out in LA. Absolutely crazy. Tons of Geodudes. You guys know I caught a Wild Golem. Not the best one in the world, but I did capture a Wild Golem as well outside in LA. We've got a few Ponytars here as well. Unfortunately, the Ponytar multiplier is horrific. And a few Slowpokes too. So, basically, unreal. Like, absolutely crazy, crazy, crazy Pokemon in LA. But, which ones are we aiming for that 2,000 CP mark? That's the important question. Literally just scrolling to the top of my screen takes five years. I need to I need to get through these guys and just discard the worst ones, I swear down. Whew! Alright, we're finally there. So I already have one 2000 CP Pokemon being the Gyarados at 90% IV. He is a huge beast, and we can actually power him up a little bit, which is great. So I'm actually gonna do that right now to start off the episode. So we're gonna power him up a little bit more. 
nice, getting him to 2,125. We'll power him up again. I think that may max him out, potentially. There we go, so 2,163. He's our strongest Pokemon currently. Now, we do have ourselves um, a 53% IV uh, of Aporion, but I'm gonna leave that alone. The things I do wanna power up today is A, the Snorlax, because it's a really good percent IV Snorlax. As you can see, that CP bar is a lot of progress, and fingers crossed, that can roll over to 2,000. The RK9, this guy's great, but I've got a bigger and a better and an extremely strong Growlithe. And I'll show you that in a second before we set off. We've got Slowbro, but unfortunately doesn't have much room for uh, boosting up his CP power. Lapras is a 97% IV Lapras. Now I know it's gonna need a lot of powering up to get it to 2,000, but I'm hoping again, fingers crossed, with those 23 candies, we can at least get it close and hopefully get it to another 2,000 CP Pokemon 2. Execute is an awesome, awesome guy. He's 93% IV, so a bit of a beast. Unfortunately, he doesn't have Solar Beam as his move set, but I think if I transfer some of the Executes I've got, I can make this Executor 2,000 as well. Now, I'm not sure if there's enough room on his CP bar, but potentially the Polyrath could get to 2,000 CP. So that's the plan for today's episode, is to get some of these big badass Pokemon over the 2000 threshold and one of the biggest and most exciting evolutions for myself that I can't wait to do today involves the Growlithe. So I'm not sure if you guys caught it while I was on this screen and it's not my best CP Growlithe but this 791 Growlithe is 95% IV. Unreal! When I caught him I was so excited. So if you guys don't know what IVs are, I've done a video on it before. Search my channel, I'll maybe link it down below as well. Basically, IV calculator Pokemon to find out their hidden statistics. So despite the fact this guy is 905 and we appraise him, it's above average, it's not amazing. Like, its statistics aren't absolutely insane. But if we appraise this in 791 Growlithe, um, my leader for Team Mystic will say it's a wonder, which means it's one of the best Pokemon you can get. Its best attributes in HP and defense, and by its calculations it's incredible, which means HP and defense are 15 out of 15 statistic IVs, which means this Growlithe is a god Growlithe. And if you look at all the candies have got, 167, like, this guy is easy gonna go to its maximum CP rank, so he, my friend, at the end of today's episode is gonna be ranked up to the highest possible CP. What's that gonna turn into? Why, well, I, I literally don't know. I know it's gonna be over 2,000, but how much over 2,000? We're gonna find out later today. So guys, without further ado, we are ready to kick off today's episode, get as many 2,000 CP Pokemon as possible, hit up an awesome, awesome spawn spot where, who knows, maybe we'll find a wild 2,000 CP Pokemon. That'd be pretty crazy. So give it a thumbs up if you're excited for today's venture. I am super pumped. Let's kick it off and get some awesome Pokemon. Unfortunately guys, to start off today's venture, I've got some sad news. This is my favorite Pikachu hat. And when I was visiting Claire's family, they had a candle above their main doorway and I'm so tall and I had my hat on that I bashed into this candle holder and wax went all over the hat. And it is now completely destroyed. It's my favorite hat. So actually I like my second favorite hat after my Ali A hat. Just in case you guys are wondering why I'm not wearing it, I will order a new one, do not worry. But actually, I'm super excited to start our first UK Pokemon Go adventure since getting back from LA. So. Let's jump in the Pokemon Mobile, drive to our first location, and fingers crossed, we're gonna find some awesome Pokemon to help us get those 2,000 CP Mon. So guys, it's a gorgeous day today. It doesn't quite compare to the LA sun, but it is still really good for England. And I kid you not, as soon as I pull up to this park, I have a wild Squirtle spawn. I mean, I've never been here before, so all dogs on leads. This place looks pretty huge, to be honest with you. It looks absolutely massive. So hopefully a fantastic spot capture Pokemon and get some Poke stuff. So let's start off with this little Squirtle. Oof. Now I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try and go for excellent throws. Claire and I had an unreal history of getting excellent throws in LA. Ooh, don't you dare run away fella. And like literally I'd say we'd only ever had maybe 10 excellent throws between us and we got at least maybe 50 or 60 while we're in LA. Unreal scenes. I, I feel like I'm on a golf course. I feel like I shouldn't be here. We're gonna keep on walking. The Squirtle, oh, the ring got huge just as I tried to throw it. Now, actually this looks like, uh, oh, what's it when you throw the discs, like disc golf, whatever it's called. I know, we got the Squirtle. That's the main thing right now. Adding three more candies. Yo, 90 candies, Jeebus Louises. Well, the good news is I have all of these eggs on the go as well. So I've got two Ks that are close, 
and I think is it three five k's that are close. So we should get five egg hatches back to back so soon. And if we look at our nib, oh here we okay okay. It's not even soon. It's right here and it's right now. Now the eggs were unreal. Yo yo, LA. LA, please, can I come back? This is from an LA egg, and I know it is. Let's see what the appraisal is. It's a wonder. Attack. Oh, okay, it's not quite 100% IV, but it is great. Oh, man, I can't believe I've got, what, two Squirtles and a Charmander from LA 2K eggs now. Now this is another 2K egg. Hit me with something insane. Go on. Okay, okay, so 5K egg. This time an Nidoran male. All good. If it's great IV, it's actually really needed, so let's appraise this guy. Wonder. Defense. Okay, okay, we'll check it out later and see exactly how good the IVs are. Next egg going on here, so empty. Maybe even back at school, I don't know. What have we got, what have we got? Okay, and around female. Still looking for great IVs here, so let's compare that and see what we're gonna be getting. Uh, it's a wonder, HP, attack. Oh my God, oh my God, guys. My first ever 100 IV Pokemon, 100 I need to sit down, I need to sit down. Claire, you may have gone and gotten your 100% magic up, which to be fair I would love as well. But a 100, let's just go through this again. So, Nidoran is a wonder, which is what Team Mystic Leader says when their IVs are above 80%. It's best to use HP, followed by its attack, followed by its defense, all three statistics you measure with IVs. And by its, ex by its calculations, it's incredible, which means it's 15 out of 15. Oh my god, oh my gosh. I can't, yeah, we're not even done with the eggs, man. This is insane, guys. I did not think this would be insane. It is absolutely... Okay, a Zubat. You know what? That's actually great. I'll explain why a Zubat is great in tomorrow's episode. Let's appraise it. Wonder. Okay, it's, it's okay. It's okay. Final egg. Oh my god, I can't believe the luck. If it's got another, like... Oh no, it's definitely gonna be a 5k, actually, isn't it? Let's see. Ah, oh, definitely don't need that. That's definitely an LA egg right there, because I've got a million of these guys. We'll, we'll appraise it anyway. Wonder, HP. Okay. But that is unreal, guys. We enter the park with a Squirtle, we hatch a Charmander, but a 100% IV Nidoran female. This place is godly already. Now, there's supposed to be loads of Pokey stops around here. Okay, so I'm gonna head in that direction. I've walked a little bit off the beaten track here. If I head back on myself, can you see all of those Pokey stops that are really close to each other? We're gonna try and head there. Hopefully, it's not too busy, and hopefully, we can get some amazing Pokemon. So, guys, talking about 100% IV Pokemon, I found a Magic Cup. There's only 32 CP, but remember, the CP is never an indicator, especially in the wild, of how good a Pokemon can be. So, this man is literally chilling as you can see in front of me with all of the geese that are chilling right now by this beautiful, it's actually a really nice spot. I keep on accidentally finding these beautiful spots where Pokemon go, but I need to take Claire and Evie with me. Now, what is it gonna be? There we go, beautiful. Now, I also wanna test something out to do with egg magic cards. I wanna, I, wanna, I wanna do a bit of research. First of all, to see if this guy's any good. Okay, certainly caught the attention. That ain't good enough, unfortunately. But 327 candies, I'm so close being able to get a second Gyarados. Actually, I am sitting right on top of a blue gym. Can I add anything to it? No, I can't, but dude, look at this. There's a 1,700 Gyarados, 2,000 Gyarados, and this dude's level 30 for 2,300 Snorlax. That's amazing. So give me a second, guys. I'm gonna catch you with Staryu and also do a little bit of research into egg magic cups and egg Pokemon in general. So this bit of research was all triggered by the fact that I've just tweeted out I've got a 100% IV Nidoran female. I and mean, then somebody tweeted me saying, oh, I've got a 100% IV magic up. It came out at 150 CP. And I was like, wait a second. Claire's perfect IV magic heart was also 150 CP and it came out from an egg. Now, I don't want to go too in depth, but basically the way you work out the max CP of a Pokemon includes the IV stats of their attack, defense, and HP. So if you've got a perfect IV Pokemon, then the max CP is gonna be the best possible on that Pokemon. So what I've done, as you can see on screen here, is I've actually found a website which tells you if a Pokemon comes out of these CP ranks, you know it's 100% IV. And if you check at the bottom for 2K eggs here, you can see if you hatch 150 CP magic up, it's gonna be an 100% IV Pokemon, which is exactly what Claire and that guy that tweeted me got. So just take a look at this here. I'll maybe post some information about it or a website link down below in the description so you guys can check it out. So keep an eye on these numbers. Just bear it in mind. Magic Art's easy to remember because it's 150 CP. So if you ever hatch one, you know it's exactly perfect. Of course, you can go through and appraise it as well, but it's a good way of just knowing as soon as it comes out its egg, it's gonna be an absolute beast. So actually, let's test it. So 
I got a Nidoran female and 100% IV Nidoran female come out of 500 CP. And I actually, if I remember correctly, if we go to my recent list, there you go. The CP of this Nidoran female is 500. So it's exactly right. So if you scroll through this list, if you look at Growlithe, for example, I'll put that at the top of the screen. Its highest CP out of an egg is 762 with 100% IVs. So you can obviously find better CP wild Pokemon. But for those of you guys that don't know, Pokemon hatched from eggs will generally have about 75% plus upwards IVs. That's why I praised all of those and almost all of them said it's a wonder because they were all above 8%. So just keep an eye on all these numbers here. Maybe you want to look at the 10 kilometer eggs. For example, you'd be very interested in a Dratini. If you hatch a 561 Dratini, you've got the best Dragonite, assuming you evolve it all the way possible in the game. So some interesting information there and hopefully you guys will use that for your own good as well. If you guys look on screen here, you can see I've gone through loads of Pokestops in the area. I got the other two, but it was more than five minutes to go, so they've refreshed. But you guys may remember in one episode I hatched four 10k eggs into the fifth one at the beginning of the next episode. That meant I was rocking five 10k eggs in a row. If we go to my eggs now, we can see that I'm sitting on that one 10 kilometer egg that I've had for ages. No 10ks in LA, no 10ks here. They're getting harder and harder to find again unfortunately. But one Pokemon that people talked about a lot while we were at Santa Monica Pier was Aerodactyl. People were saying it was spawning around, it was coming from lures. I never got one unfortunately. So for that 10k, I'm still really looking for an Aerodactyl to come out. Or, or I mean maybe 100% IV Dratini, that would be great too. But Aerodactyl is a new Pokemon I still need. So we've got a few more eggs from those Pokestops, so 5Ks are working away, and that 10K I'm keeping hold of until we've got a few more to all do together, which at the moment could take a long time. <laughs> so guys, I just headed into a different town to stock up on my Pokemon eggs. As you can see on screen here, you can see the route I've gone to basically collect as many Pokestops as possible. I also have to do some boring bank transfers and stuff like that. Ooh, it's, it's, you don't want to know, guys, you don't want to know. What you do want to know, however, is the fact that if we go to our eggs, we're now back up to nine out of nine. I'm going to start to incubating the other 5K eggs here as well. I'm still leaving that 10K until we get some more. We can do a little bit of a test. Are LA eggs really? so much better than the UK eggs. I think they are to with you guys. But we're gonna head back now because we've got loads of eggs hatched, a few new Pokemon caught, and it is time to grind our way up to see how many 2,000 CP Pokemon we can get. I am so excited. So guys, we're back from our little adventure there. Really the best thing was all of the egg hatching and working out exactly what we can expect for those CP numbers to know that they're 100% IV eggs. I went through and actually calculated all the eggs. The first little dude, a Charmander from an egg, was 84% IV, not quite my best. I've got an 88 one. A 91 male Nidoran, which is awesome. That is my best. Of course, the 100% IV Nidoran. Around female, and then a 93 Zubash, I think it's one of their Zubats, so it's quite cool, and 82 Sand Shoes. So, obviously, all the egg Pokemon, great IV values, always appraise it when they hatch, because even if it's like an average Pokemon like a Zubat, it could be an awesome IV Pokemon. So, as I said at the beginning of the video, this is all going to be about trying to get as many 2,000 CP Pokemon as possible. I think what I'm gonna say, I'm gonna start with my dude Snorlax, all right? He's got a decent move set. He's got 17,406 CP at the moment. I've got 34, that's a lot of candies actually, considering I've only ever hatched one. Oh, I hatched two, I hatched two, I remember that now. This guy, hopefully, fingers crossed, will roll over. So, 87% IV, let's start the powering up. Thank goodness, I'm sitting on a butt ton. Yo, what, yo, yo. Okay, he's overtaken. I was like, where's he going? He's overtaken very poor in here to make it to a number two spot. Luckily, I'm sitting on a lot of Stardust. Without all of the Stardust, I wouldn't be able to do this. And it's because I just don't really have... I, I never really have powered anything up apart from that uh, um, Gyarados. Like, I just sit on all my Stardust, wait for moments like this, where I know... Yo, this is gonna be huge. This is actually gonna be huge. How much is this gonna be? He's about to pop over. Yo, 2008. And look how much more room he's got for going up as well. Absolutely insane. Now... I could wait because I could get a better IV and a better moveset Snorlax, but 2,052, where does that put that? Well, Gyarados is fully gone up. What should we, should we, should we, should we keep on going a little bit? Should we keep on going? We'll, we'll go for a few more. We'll go for a few more. This guy's going to get powered up to be an absolute machine. 2,000. 140 at the moment. All right, let's just go for it. Whatever. We're doing a powering up episode. We may as well do it properly. Yo, has he gone to number? He's gone to number one. All right, how much more of that CP bar has he got left? I swear he's got a lot left, you know. We've used about 200, what, 25,000? So far. Oh, okay. What? Oh, 
Oh, I don't have candies. That's the thing that's holding me back. Oh, that's annoying. You know what? It's all good. A 2,271 Snorlax now puts him at number one in my squad. So we've got two Pokemon that are over 2,000 CP. Now, you're probably looking at this Arcanine and being like, oh, 829 Beam is good as good. But you may remember the 95 Growlithe. So we're going to do that. I'm not going to do it quite yet, but we are going to do that. Now, next up is Execute. I'm not sure if he's going to be able to push over the 2,000 mark, but we're certainly going to give it a go. Okay, 1,700. Moving up a few slots there. Jeez, where's he gone? Where's he gone? There he is. So we've got a few spare executes I can discard as well. But his executor is going up really nicely. Almost at 1,800 already. He's only a few power-ups away. I want to say that we could maybe... Ah! It's all going to be down to the candies here. It's all going to be down to the candies. Okay, so... You're probably thinking, damn, we run out of executive candies. Well, let me find some more. Hold on. All right, guys, this is how many executives I'm sitting on. I'm not sitting on too many. <laughs> this could be, like, the closest thing ever. I think I need three more for another... None of them are good IDs, but wait, don't worry. I think I need three more to go to power up one more time. Power up one more time. Ah! No! It's so close to 2,000. And I... If I discard this guy, like, I'm still not going to have enough. He sits at 1,966. I told you guys that would be close. So, almost a third one. Now, fourth on my list is Vaporeon. There's only 53 IV. I don't have any candies. I'm saving the candies for my 733 Eevee with 95 IVs. So we're going to leave that guy alone. As I said, we're going to get a better Arcanine in a second. Slowpro just doesn't have enough space on the CP bar, unfortunately. Next up is this fella right here. I'm going to invest in him, all right? I'm going to invest in him and see what happens. I don't know if he's going to be able to get... I don't know if there's enough CP space on his bar, but potentially, we've got a lot of spare candies. This could work, and it could pop him over as he goes up into the fourth position, actually. Yo, 1,800. This is going to be close. This could definitely happen right here. Yo, I think... I think oof, oof, what do you guys reckon? It's costing a lot of Stardust, and it's costing a lot of candies. But I'm willing to invest in him... 1,900. Can I do two more and potentially... Oh, this is going to be so close. <laughs> Please don't deny me again. Please don't deny me. Ah, it's frozen. Okay, it's gone up. I think we can do this. I think we can do this with the final power. Hey, that's going to max it out and leave it at 2,014. So we're now sitting on three 2,000 CP Pokemon. Executive 2, I'm so annoyed Executive 2 is literally just falling short. I wish I had more candies. Aside from that, there was Lapras. So this guy is only 1,614, but has ridiculous IVs at 97%. Jesus, I've almost gone to 100,000 Stardust. I was sitting on 300,000. No! Oh my god, it's... Why does it go off the one you're on? Now, this is all going to come down to candy, to be honest with you, because I've only got this, I've only got this Lapras. I think we've definitely got a enough space in the CP bar to do it. It all just comes down to the candies, to be honest with you guys. I can do about four, five more power-ups. Four more power-ups currently. This is going to be so close again, guys. I can only do three more power-ups. I can only do two more power-ups. Oh my gosh. Come on. Come on. One more. <gasps> I don't think it's going to be enough. No! No! 1,996. I don't believe that. Look at that. Just falling underneath both because of candies. We almost had them at 2,000. We've got three 2,000 CP Pokemon now. Two are almost there. All of these guys on screen here, if we look at their CP bars, don't have enough space. We don't have enough candies to quite get them up there. Rhydon's awesome. He's already 1,600, but you won't be able to go much higher than that. Which leads us with the best and final evolution I'm so excited to do. This, my friend, is a 95% IV Growlithe. Now, I do have, and I found my highest CP Growlithe at 905. But if we appraise him, it's, it's only just above average. Like, it's nothing impressive. So, statistically, this guy is a wonder. He's got crazy stats. It's incredible. So, what I think I'm going to do to make this as epic as possible is fully power up or power up this Growlithe as much as I can. Then do the evolution and see what he comes out as. I don't quite believe this, but with all this powering up, I've gone through about 160, 170,000 Stardust. I've almost wiped out half my Stardust. I'm so glad I sat on it. So, now a 1,074 and 95% Growlithe. We're 
about to evolve this guy into an Arcanine. This, this could come out as my strongest ever CP Pokemon. The, the best ground if I caught in LA. I was so hyped, so excited when this guy popped up and I found out how good statistically he was. He's now an Arcanine. What is his CP gonna be? Roll in your bets, 2,000 and 2,410. With Fire Blast and Bite, this guy, no, do not transfer money. Jeez, no, he's favorited, all good. This guy sits at the top of my CP list. 2,410. We now have four Pokemon at 2,000 CP. That Lapras and Executive we can kind of pretend they're 2,000 CP to so almost six full party Pokemon at 2,000 CP. That's crazy. Absolutely insane. Guys, hope you've really enjoyed this episode. My squad is looking strong. My squad is looking beast. As always, send me a screenshot of your squad and exactly how good they're look looking on Twitter or let me know down below in the comment section. I've got an awesome Pokemon Go video ready for you guys tomorrow. Do not worry. I'm so excited to share with you guys. So give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed. We've got some eggs that are ready next time as well. It's going to be hype. I'll see you guys then for more Pokemon Go.